I mean, wouldn't you be so embarrassed if your mom was going on TikTok live, drunk, saying fuck you and just embarrassing the fuck out of you because she doesn't understand what people are going to do with those words? Girl, this ain't no dance floor, this a candy. Speak my piece. You're stressing like, speak my their fucking piece. I'm going to speak my fucking piece. <laughs> She's going to speak her fucking piece. Okay, already. Jacob's mom looks like she's been ridden hard and put up wet. Like, I expect, I now realize why he's with Kristen, if that makes sense. Because that was, that's Kristen in 20, 30 years. She was literally so drunk. You could see in one of the videos that Kristen was telling Jacob's mom to work and stuff, and she did it. I'm Mr. Chico Stick. I wanna uh, Kristen went down in that video, that live video, as soon as his mom said, and I love Rachel. Just so you know, I love Rachel too. Okay. Jacob is obviously, I hate to say this, more responsible than his mother, almost. And I, I don't want to say more responsible because he does post those like cringy and he posts them with Rachel as well cringy ass I hope you never lose your sense of wonder snuff for teenagers I'm serious I can't feel anything hit me the type of tiktok videos that are sexually provocative <laughs> you don't know what you do don't go against community guidelines and it feeds into their old women when i say old women i mean the women in their mid ages who have nothing to do who live vicariously through people on the internet and i think i'm dying that's one of their audience okay then you have the tweens who want to be them then you, like you don't understand how many old people old southern women i've like seen duet their videos and be like i want to have him look at me like he looks at her when i break you off, I that you, won't fall again you realize that that's <laughs> that's that's bullshit right they're acting to get attention does does that make sense i almost want to do a video where i show my boyfriend those videos and I try not to cringe because he's going to be like, what fucking male does this shit? It is so cringy. You're doing it for a check, basically. I've never gotten the kiss me like it's on your wedding day, like these couple influencer type bullshit. And Kristen does so many of the same ones that Jacob and Rachel have done. It's crazy. People say she isn't trying to copy me copy her that girl wants to live in rachel's skin okay if Kristen could cut it off and put it on the chick would um but honestly they're all white trash oh my goodness i even looked okay so we were back at the audience okay audience old women young tweens in white trash oh my goodness when i tell you the amount of like white trash people who have stitched me saying that they would allow Kristen and whitney to watch their kids y'all just have to watch this video i'm gonna insert it here trust your child in the hands of them like a child that you birthed would you honestly trust her yes let her know because the reason i would not have let her is because if i had the opportunity She's watching me. We going out. We going to go have fun because my aunt, she's too, mm -mm, she be doing the most. We going to be on that boat. We going to be on that pop that pussy. Pop that pop that pussy bitch. That's what we going to be doing. We ain't, no. She's not going to be running around. Come here, you want a freak snack? Come here, JJ. Fuck that. No, you going to be like, hey, Jess, throw that ass in the circle. And I'm going to be like, hey, get it, Chris. Get it. Get it. That's what we going to be doing. No, you're not chasing the kids around for me, Kristen. We ain't even chasing drinks. I wouldn't associate myself with that person. I'd see them walking in the grocery store dressed how they are, and I'd be like, um, 
probably a lovely lady, but don't want to ever hang out with her in my free time. And that's the type of people that they attract. And I can show you example after example after example. I don't know. I just think that the more that Jacob's mother gets on TikTok live and spews stuff, it's it's just the recorded videos is just evidence for Rachel's lawyer. Like in a custody battle, you bring, you want to get full custody of your child or you want like primary custody, you bring up every fucking thing that they do. And people wanted me to respond to her stupid hat comment. Some people wanted me to like clap back at that. And I would have to care about her opinion, right? Like I would have to value it in some type of way. I'd have to care about other people viewing her her opinion of me, so on and so forth, right? Since I ver think very little of her audience and very little of her, what they're saying, wh whatever, what, what do I care what white trash thinks of me, honestly? In other news, the little friend Trayvon unblocked me. They're so good at online brigading. Oh my goodness. Has anyone seen the video of Kristen, Jacob, I think his name's Tyler, Trayvon, and all of them on TikTok live telling the people in their live to go to another person's live and online brigade them. Have you seen it? Is this therapy? Yo. Guys, go comment our live right now on Mary's live, please. Is this therapy? Guys, please do it for me. I, I, I someone please comment what is going on. And they don't even realize that it's a type of bullying, right? They, they, they don't. They don't understand that knowing that them posting or making fun of someone on their story is going to influence this large amount of white trash onto other people's pages. Like, they can't not know that. They know that. And the fact that they're continuing to do it, I, I don't know how they still have TikTok account. They're even doing it on live. They should at least be banned from TikTok live. Honestly, I don't think they should be banned from TikTok live because that would be a positive for them because the best thing they could do was stop TikTok living. Even though it creates drama and it creates stuff, it just makes their reputation so much worse. Growing up in the South and looking at that group of friends, that's the group of friends my parents never wanted me to grow up to be. And I, I get it. Judging them by their fan base, I get it. Yeah, Trayvon unblocked me. I think, I guess he thought that after what his little friend said, I was just going to quiet down. I don't go humbly into the night, okay? And we haven't even gotten to the Whitney essay stuff, have we? I'm the same! I know, what the fuck? Yeah, okay. We're both the same, so we're just aiming at each other. Should we just read theirs? Okay, never have I ever gone with somebody like four years younger than me. <laughs> One time, I was 18. Do you know how old he was? He was 15. <laughs> So, does anyone remember the, I don't know if y'all have seen it, but there is a live video of Whitney and Kristen playing Never Have I Ever. And Kristen looks at Whitney like friends do when they know like a secret and they want to get the person to put a finger down in this game. And goes, never have I ever hooked up with someone four years younger than me. And Whitney put a finger down. And then Whitney says, he was 15, I was 18. That is statutory sexual assault. I can't say the other word on here. Um, that she openly admitted to. And yet, there are people who still support her and would trust her to watch their children. Okay, we're going to leave it at that.